Hey, what's up guys? It's Oscar here with Elevated Canine. Uh, together with Dogumentary TV, uh, we are going to start a training series called Fundamentals of Dog Training, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So the first step in our dog training is making sure that we charge our markers. What, what I mean by that is letting the dog know when he's going to get rewarded. So in this case, we're going to use the word yes. When we say the word yes, we are going to produce a reward. Uh, it could either be kibble, which you see here in my hand, or it could be a tug. I have one back here. And <clears throat> so basically, as soon as I say the word yes, that's going to produce the reward. Uh, why, why is that important? It is important because that is going to let the dog know exactly what he did that is going to get him paid. So for example, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break Benny from his place right now. So if I go, okay, and if I go, Benny, place, yes, he knows that he's going to get rewarded. He can come off of his place. Place, yes, all right. So we're going to start from the beginning, place, and how we charge this marker, all right. So the first step is to make sure that you have a dog that is interested in you. So we want a dog that is very invested and wants to work for you so that you could teach the behaviors. If you go outside and you're trying to teach the dog to sit, down, come, whatever you're trying to teach him, and instead he's sniffing, looking at other dogs or whatever he's doing, uh, it's gonna be very difficult. So we have to make sure that the dog is invested in us and he wants to work for us. So in, in, in the, at this point, I'm gonna show you how we start that. So what you do is, you're gonna grab your dog, come out, put a leash on your dog, uh, just because. Okay, and I'm gonna remove this place out of the way. Put this over here. So, if I have a dog say that sniffing, like how he is right now, he's going around, as soon as he focuses on me and he looks at me, I'm gonna mark the, yes! And I'm gonna pay him. Three pieces of kibble. And I'll stand still, he's looking at me, yes! I pay again. Obviously, uh, you know, we've done some training with this guy, so he knows the program, but we will take out other dogs where we can show you, yes! So here he's invested in me, he wants to, he wants to work. Yes! He's being very focused on me, and that's what you want from a dog, all right? So I'm gonna take out a puppy next, so you guys can see the, the process with the dog that has no training. I have done no training with this dog. We just got him in from Costa Rica, and he's a German Shepherd puppy, so we'll bring him out and show you guys the process. All right, guys, so this is my young dog. I just got him in from Costa Rica. His name is Hustle. And uh, we're gonna show you guys a little bit about that engagement thing that we talked about. Again, this is for dogs that are a little more food motivated or uh, you know, some dogs are not treat motivated. Uh, so you, you gotta find other ways that they are gonna find satisfaction in whatever you give them, tug, praise, whatever it is. In this case, we're using food just to show you guys the process. So I haven't done any sessions with him yet. Uh, he just got in a couple days ago. So he, as you can see, he's already a very focused little pup, but you know, so I'm gonna show you guys. And again, we're charging the marker as, as, as I go. So I'm gonna charge the yes marker at the same time that I'm building engagement, all right? Yes! So he doesn't even know what yes means, but I'm, I'm gonna produce a reward. He looks at me, yes! Then I produce the reward. I can even make him chase it a little bit. Stand still. Yes! He looks at me, I mark, and I feed. Yes! You gotta make sure that you capture the right moment. As soon as you say, he looks at you, Yes! And this one I'm gonna give him three treats. So you kinda, you could jackpot. Make sure that you give him more than one. Yes! 
and you'll see that they'll be a lot more attentive. Rather than you just giving one piece of food, you give three pieces of food. Yes! And then you'll see how the dog becomes a lot more engaged than you. Yes! So the reason why I put him on leash is just so if, if he was interested in a lot of other things, I could stop him. I'm not going to correct him, but I'm going to stop him. Yes! All right. Yes! All right, guys. So the reason why I'm using uh, food, to me, is just the easiest thing to use when working because I can limit their food a little bit. Yes! I could feed them uh, through training and create that bond, that engagement. Yes! But you can see this little guy already picking it up. All right? Yes! Nice, buddy. Good boy. Yes! And then you just end your session. Done. Atta boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. All right, guys. So just a little recap on this video that we shot um, is, is how to create engagement and charge your yes marker at the same time. Again, so the yes marker means you are going to produce a reward. So the dog looks at you, you say the word yes, you reach into your pockets, and you could give them one piece, two piece, three pieces of food. Or if your dog is in food motivated, what you do is you'll go yes, and you'll bring out the tug, give your dog the tug, and play, 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 out. And you could give him another bite, or you could put it away. He stays focused on you. Yes, bring it out. And again, you are just making sure that your dog is invested in you, he wants to work for you, instead of being into all these other things. Um, so I know there's gonna be questions. What if your dog isn't food motivated? What if your dog isn't tug motivated? Well, you can, create, you can create that motivation. You can bring it up by either cutting their food a little bit and maybe instead of feeding them in a bowl, you feed them out of your hand to create that engagement with you. Or you could even, you know, if your dog, you want your dog to be a little more tug motivated, what you could do is you could attach it to a leash where he has to chase it, play with them. Remember, it's about the game, not necessarily the tug. So how some dogs, you know, like, like to pull on the tug, you gotta see what your dog likes. Every dog is different. So that's for you to find out. And there are some videos out there of other trainers, Ivan Balabanov, Michael Ellis. Um, those are trainers that I look up to. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us, uh, leave comments, uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, you know, Zeke is gonna be out here and let him know that you're interested in some more dog training videos and we'll do what we can. Uh, I, have a, I have a lot planned for you guys, shaping, how to teach your dog to go to the bed, how to walk next to you recalls. So if you guys are interested, make sure you let Zeke know in the comments. Hope you guys have a good one.